The transatlantic voyage of the Carnival Pride was over, and as our debark shore excursion headed toward the Montserrat Mountains, we drove through Barcelona and the Spanish countryside. The focus of our excursion was a tour of the Santa Maria de Montserrat Abbey. Originally founded around 1880 AD, the Benedictine monks have built and rebuilt their sacred place over the centuries. The bus dropped us at the train station for the last leg up the mountainside to the Abbey complex. The Abbey is a very popular place, and it is also the end of a religious pilgrimage many people make, often walking from their homes in Spain across the land and hiking up the mountainside. And some, like us, take buses and trains instead. As we gathered in our tour group, I looked around and I was in awe. The beauty of the granite-spired mountains, the Catalan countryside far below, the grand and magnificent buildings perched on top of the historic monks' retreat, all blended together to create what I can only describe as a perfect combination of nature, artistry, architecture, and inspiration. We stopped for a bit in the square directly outside the entrance to the church, and the guide explained how we could climb a staircase to see the relic and pay our respects, or enter the church to explore, and I decided to do both. Upon entering the church, again, the feeling of awe and inspiration, a beautiful place filled with art and icons representing the faith of those who worshipped here. And then, after the short stair climb, sat the relic of Santa Maria de Montserrat. Pope John Paul had walked these steps, and millions of pilgrims had passed through. Visitors were reverent and quiet and respectful. I continued through to explore the rest of the church and the grounds before meeting with the group for our tour lunch.
Our special group tour lunch was very good, but the best part of the lunch for me was sharing wonderful conversation and a tall bottle of red wine with others at my table. What an absolutely amazing excursion.